it's Abby. welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can see by the title of today's video i'm going to be filming a full face of first impressions and um, before i get into this video i just want to apologize that there was no video up on my channel last week um, i wasn't really in the right mind frame to be filming and editing last week it was just a write-off for me um, and i never want to put anything half-hearted or something where i'm not in a great mood or i'm not fully there in the video and also something that I'm not 100% happy with on my channel so I just thought I'll give myself a week off to kind of like recoup and sit myself down and like sort everything out with my channel and then sit down and film for you guys. So like I said as you can see by the title I'm filming a full face of first impressions. If you haven't already seen I went to Florida and I went on a massive shopping spree in Sephora and I spent a lot of money. If you haven't already seen my Sephora haul I will link it in the description box down below for you guys um, but yeah I spent loads of money in Sephora, I bought loads of new products so what I'm going to be doing today is testing all of those out for you guys and giving you guys my first impressions. So if you're not already please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit make sure you hit the notification bell and let's just get on with the video. So the first product I'm going to be using um, I've already put um, like cleansed, toned, put my advanced night repair serum on and I'm now going to go in with a new moisturiser. Now this isn't really a first impression for me because I have used this moisturiser before but I haven't used it in about three years. This is the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser and I got the gel based one which is better for kind of like more like oilier skin types. This smells really really good, it smells like oranges and um, it's an energy boosting gel moisturiser. It's going to give you that hydration but without being too oily. Uh, like I said I have already used this moisturiser in the past but again I haven't used it in ages. It smells so good, it literally smells like fresh oranges. And as you can see it's just giving my skin a really nice glow. So I've got all of the products that I'm going to be using today in this bag but I have taken them all out of the packaging um, from the haul because obviously I don't want to be sitting here kind of undoing all the packaging making loads of noise so I just thought I'd take it all out and then um, just do it that way. So the next thing that I've got is something that only arrived yesterday actually. This is Panda's Dream by... Who's by? Oh, it's called Panda's Dream So Cool Eye Stick by Tony Moly, which is like a um, like a Korean skincare brand. Like, look how cute this is. It's like a little cooling under eye gel, and it's like in the shape of a panda. It's so cute. It even has a little bamboo in its hand. Like, how stinking adorable is this? Um, it comes with like a little stick like this. I can get it off, that is. Um, it comes like this, and it's like a little blue gel. So it's meant to be really cooling and depuffing. so... Okay, instantly that feels so cooling under my eye. It's like it's almost like, it's like cold. And I'm going to take it up. And this is meant to be really good if you have like puffiness and dark circles. Or if you like work at a desk or something or like staring at a laptop screen. This is meant to be really good for like cooling underneath the eyes. That feels so nice. I am definitely going to be keeping this by my bedside table for when I'm editing videos just to keep my under eyes nice and refreshed. So first impression on that, it is so nice and cooling underneath the eyes. So for primer today, I wanted to test out two new ones that I've got. So this is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Undercover Invisible Coconut Face Primer, which again was in my Sephora haul, and the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer Base, because these are like the new primers that come out from L'Oreal. Um, so this one I hauled in my Sephora haul. I have never used this. I've not even tried it on the back of my hand. Um, but it's meant to have coconut in there, so it's meant to be really reviving on the skin, really hydrating. Um, it doesn't claim to like smooth out the texture of the skin or anything it is just purely like a hydration primer so yeah so let's try it so i've put like two pumps there on the back of my hand it doesn't really smell like anything it feels quite lightweight but i like primers like this for every day for kind of really hydrating my skin on first impressions it really reminds me of the um two face hangover rx uh, coconut primer, the one with the little pump. I love that primer. That feels really hydrating on my skin. Again, it's, I'd say, a little bit thicker than the one from um, Too Faced. Again, it's really nice and refreshing. Seems to have hydrated my skin. Again, I don't feel like it's really necessarily smoothed out any pores or anything, but it, again, it doesn't say it does that. So I'm going to use in the centre part of my face, like mainly around my nose area, I'm going to try out the new L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Primer. I also did pick up the foundation stick that they've come out with, as well as this other primer, which I tried the other day. This is the L'Oreal Illuminizing Primer. This is literally like 
highlighter primer like it makes sure you literally look like the tin man but i want to have like try out the mattifying one because i've never used this so i'm literally just going to take one pump okay that is not what i was expecting it's like very similar to the Marc jacobs one as in like it's very thin okay so it kind of looks like that and i'm just going to pop it where i get oily which tends to be around my t-zone I'm just going to pop it around my nose. I feel like that has knocked back some of the shine, but it's not left me dry, which is perfect. Because I do like the look of like hydrated skin, even though I am oily. But there's again, there's a difference between oily and hydrated. So for foundation... Um, I'm going to be using today the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Um, again, I have already used this um, once, so I have already used it. Um, again, first impressions, packaging is amazing. I really like the sleek bottle. I like the fact that it has a pump on it because I love foundations with a pump because I just think you can get the perfect amount of product out. Um, again, I have used this um once before and i really did like it and it wore amazing on my skin it's a very matte finish foundation which personally i have been liking recently and then just adding the glow where i like it um i'm going to be applying it today with a real techniques uh beauty sponge and i'm just going to pop it straight on the sponge and then start pouncing it into the skin um but yeah the pumps on this like when you pump it out like they're quite small pumps um so i feel like i don't know i feel like i use quite a lot of pumps when i am using this foundation i'm using the shade 290 which is like my fake tan color not when i'm really dark but when i have got some color like if you see my neck here it blends in better with my neck and like my arms and stuff but um as you blend this onto your skin it literally makes your skin look really flawless i'd say it is more of a medium coverage but i think you could definitely build on that Again, it's not such full coverage and it's like masking my skin in foundation. Um, I feel like it would be like a good buildable coverage foundation. And the shade on this is really nice as well. This is like a really nice kind of olivey colour. So that was two pumps. So I'm going to do like another two, which is like that much. It's quite runny as well. Like I expected it to be thicker. I don't know why. Um, but obviously, where I just bear in mind, obviously... I do have slightly more oily skin so obviously a foundation like this is going to be better for my skin type obviously I can't tell you how it will sit on a more of a dry skin and I'm just blending it down my neck I also definitely want to pick up the Fenty Pro Filter Primer um, because I really like that foundation so I definitely want to give the primer a go next thing I'm going to be trying is this from Smashbox I've had this a while but I've just never used it it's just kind of sat there in my collection so I thought I'd give it a try this is the Smashbox color correcting stick in look less tired light so basically it's like a peach corrector which comes on a stick like this um, so basically the idea is you use this under your concealer and it's meant to correct any dark circles because peach is meant to help correct like the bluey kind of purple tones under the eye. And then I think I'm actually just going to go in with my finger and just blend that out. I really like correctors. I've gone through one of the um, Bobbi Brown under eye correctors and I really did like it. I like it just because it takes away that shadow that sometimes can be left even when you've applied concealer sometimes if you do have dark circles they you can get that kind of like gray shadow under the eye and i feel like correctors just kind of help to counteract that a little bit better before you go with your concealer now i haven't picked up a new concealer recently just because i have so many in my collection but my newest one that i've been using and i did a full review on this is the makeup Relev is the makeup revolution got there in the end um conceal and define full coverage correct full coverage conceal and contour concealer i'm going to use mine in the shade c5 um this has been compared to um tarte shape tape concealer um i did a whole review video on this so if you want to see the review that i did of this concealer then i will link it in the description box down below for you guys because you guys need to get your hands on this if you haven't already it is literally like a four pound dupe of tarte shape tape it is very full coverage 
I like the shade C5 um, for brightening. So I do it right underneath my eyes, centre of my face, like Cupid's bow, chin and forehead. <laughs> you falling asleep over there? <laughs> Chloe's there behind the camera falling asleep. I'm just going to take my sponge and blend this out. Like, look how quick that blends. I love this concealer. I do think it's slightly thinner than the Tarte Shape Tape though. I, after using it for a few weeks, I do think there is a difference between this one and the Tarte Shape Tape. The Shape Tape's a little bit thicker and more like moussey like whereas this one is a little bit thinner. So for powder, as you guys know, I absolutely love and swear by my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. But when I went to Sephora, I picked up the Cover FX Perfecting Setting Powder um, in the shade Translucent Light. And I've never used this before, obviously. So it comes with what looks like, oh, okay. It comes with like a little lid thing on it, which I guess is meant to like protect the powder and stop it getting messy, which I like. Um, and it comes out through the little holes here. The only difference is you only get 10 grams of powder in this one. In my Laura Mercier one, I get 29 grams of powder. And I don't think there's that much difference in the price. So bear that in mind. But obviously, if this powder is like a miracle worker, then I don't mind spending the extra money. So I'm just smoothing out that concealer under my eyes quickly before I set it in place. And the way that I apply my powder is with my sponge. So... I'm literally going to take a little bit of this powder. It looks really finely milled on first impression. And it's a really nice colour as well. And I'm just going to set under my eyes. I like a powder that sets, that isn't too drying, but at the same time keeps my under eye looking really smooth. And you can see how that's just smoothed that out. And I only use a really little bit and it's not made my concealer crease, it's set it really nicely. The only thing is, I don't know how you'd get more powder out of this without getting really messy. But I am just gonna take my normal face powder, which is just MAC Studio Fix, and just my Sigma powder slash blush brush, which is the F10. And I'm just gonna use this just to set my foundation in place. Um, again, I haven't got a new setting powder because I just love this one, and I just didn't pick one up, so I just want to set this in place just because this is what I would normally do on a daily basis and that's how I want to wear this makeup today as I normally would. For bronzer today I'm going to use this one that I picked up I believe in, I want to say Ulta or Walgreens. This is the Physicians Formula um, Butter Bronzer which just looks like so. Um, I've heard loads of good things. I think it was Jaclyn Hill that I heard about this bronzer on and instantly it literally smells like coconuts. Like this bronzer smells really like tropical and like fruity coconuts. It smells really good um, and I'm going to be applying this with my tapered face F25. And I think this is the, yeah, the light shade in the bronzer. I think I did have a dark one as well, but I didn't see that one when I was there. So this is what the shade looks like. I've seen Jamie Genevieve use this recently as well on her channel. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the bronzer. And on to touch it, it feels really creamy, almost like a like cream to powder formula. So let's see how this blends. I am quite fussy with my bronzers, um, the one that I use literally every single day of my life is MAC Give Me Sun, I like quite a warm bronzer so instantly this isn't as warm um, as I'm used to but actually it's given my face quite a nice kind of contoured look, that shade's really nice and I think as well for paler skin you would really like this bronzer as well. For blush, I'm going to be testing out the Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are their blush trios. Uh, it says full pigmented blush for a buildable intensity with a seamless finish. I got mine in the shade Peachy Love, which is the peach palette, because I love peach blush. Like my favourite tones and colours of blusher is peach. And as soon as I saw this palette in Sephora, I was like, I need that in my life. And I love the fact that you get three shades in like one compact which I thought was really nice so I think I'm going to be mixing together these two shades here on a Sigma large angle contour f40 brush so I'm literally going to dab between the two tap off any excess 
and it comes with a really nice mirror as well i do want to try out the new anastasia beverly hills um bronzers so if you have any color recommendations again i like warm tones then I'll let you go know because i definitely want to pick up those these are very pigmented blushes i can tell straight away so i always go in quite a light hand and even though i have i can definitely see the color so i feel like this would last you ages because you only need the tiniest bit for highlighter i'm actually going to be using one of my ColourPop super shock cheek um like highlighters the ones that come in this little compact this is the shade flexitarian now i have only ever swatched this color i've never put this on my face before um i think i've only used these once when i first got them and they've just kind of stayed in my makeup collection um but i'm going to be using it on my sigma tapered highlighter f35 and this is one of the color pop like pearlized finishes as you can see if i swatch it like it is so pigmented. I just don't know why I haven't been reaching to use these because look how gorgeous that is. Um, so I am gonna be testing the shade out today. So I'm gonna pop a little bit on my brush. We'll see where this is a cream. I don't really know how this is gonna work, but we will soon find out. I don't know if these would apply better with fingers, but it seems to be going on nicely with this brush. Because it is like a cream to powder formula, so I guess you could apply it whatever which way you wanted. And before I move on to um, everything else, I just want to kind of set my base in place. And I'm going to be testing out the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, this is basically like a liquid, like moisturiser, dewy finish setting spray. Um, and I'm just going to mist two spritzes of this on my skin because I've heard that you don't need a lot of this. So I'm going to do this before I do like my eyes and stuff. That setting spray was $48 though, so that's quite expensive but that has literally made my skin just like all the products like melt together i think if you have dry skin i feel like you'd love that for brows i am going to go off camera and fill in my eyebrows just because i do have a brow routine video and i didn't actually pick up any new products for my brows because i'm just happy with my routine so i use the mac waterproof brow set in brown ebony my benefit precisely my brow pencil and my benefit um ready set brow brow gel um again i have a full brow routine up on my channel again it's always linked in the description box and i'll put it in an eye card up here so i'm going to go off camera fill in my brows and then i'll be back for some eye products and some lips so before i go in and start the eyes i'm going to go in with my fasali rose gold elixir this is a 24 karat infused beauty oil now i've only ever used this on my face i've used it i think once or twice um, and it's the oil you basically have to shake it it's actually got 24 karat gold infused into this beauty oil like it is so pretty and um, it comes with one of these little pipettes and um i use this on my face and it made my skin so glowy and smooth and dewy it sits really nicely underneath makeup i've seen loads of girls on instagram use this on their lips so i'm gonna give that a try i just did like one drop and i'm just gonna push this but again i really like this for the face and i don't think this is a gimmick i think this is a genuinely really good beauty oil so for the eyes today i'm going to be using the huda beauty warm brown obsessions palette now again i picked this up in sephora um, it comes with some colors like so now i had never used any huda beauty eyeshadows before so i'm really excited to use this palette first color i'm going to go in with is this matte cream color here and i'm literally just going to take this over my lid actually i'm just going to take this little sticker thing off my mirror and again it comes with a really nice mirror i'm just going to take this cream shade and just apply this to the lid just as like a base because where we've put the concealer on um this is just going to help with blending so i'm then going to go in with 
this kind of matte neutral shade here also how pretty are my nails also i just have to give a quick shout out to my nails um my nail lady lee is absolutely amazing i put a picture up of these on my instagram um, if you don't already follow me on my Instagram, then it's um, Abby Crane underscore. Put it up on the screen. Go and follow me on Instagram. I got my nails done this like beautiful grey with like loads of like glitter and different finishes on them. They're just so pretty. Um, I've been posting loads on Instagram recently, so make sure you go and follow me over there. Um, so back to the palette. I'm going to be taking this really nice neutral, slightly warmer matte brown colour on a brush, and I'm going to start popping that into the crease now i'd heard really good things about the huda beauty palettes but i have so many eyeshadow palettes in my collection um i was going to buy one of their like bigger palettes um but when i saw these i was like that's a really nice way for me to try them out first and then if i do like this formula because i'm quite picky about my eyeshadows then i can always purchase some more but i thought i'd give this palette a go first and also i thought this would be really good for traveling um because you've pretty much got every color you'd need here for a warm brown smoky eye so that was my thought process behind it and this is blending so nicely i'm just going to turn the brightness down a little bit and i'm actually going to take a little bit of that under my eye these are definitely more of a creamy formula they kind of are reminding me of my anastasia beverly hill shadows but slightly more creamy as opposed to powdery but they're still giving me a really nice color payoff so i think now i'm going to go in with this really beautiful kind of rusty color here and i'm just going to take it on the same brush only a little bit and i'm just going to start popping that again through the crease i love this color i love these kind of rusty kind of warm brownie red colours. I'm then going to go in with this kind of slightly darker colour. So we've just gone in with this one. I'm now going to go in with this nice dark brown kind of warm colour. On a slightly smaller blending brush. And just start putting that into like the lower part of my crease. These shadows seem to be blending really, really nicely. And also taking that shade under the eye so i'm then going to go in with this really dark brown color here in the palette it's virgin on almost black but it's definitely more of like a dark chocolate brown and i'm just going to take this again through the crease just to add a little bit more depth to the eyes and i'm keeping this look quite rounded and just taking little bits of the shadow and just slowly adding it so I'm now going to test out some of these um, like liquid glitters from Stila. These are the Stila Magnificent Metals um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Gold Goddess, which is the gold colour. And I'm just going to press this into the centre of the lid just to add like a pop of glitter um, before we go in with our liner. So they come with like a little applicator like this. I've seen loads of YouTubers use these and I'm just going to go straight in and press this mainly like on the center part of the lid and then i'm going to go in with a new eyeliner which i'm so excited to use that rose gold elixir on my lips has just made my lips look so hydrated i don't know if you can see but they look so much more kind of full and plump so for liner today, I picked up the Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D. This is the Trooper Black Waterproof Liquid Liner. Again, I've never used this and I've heard so many people talk about this. Um, you guys know I love my Maybelline Master Ink Liner. This one is more of like a felt tip pen. So I'll be intrigued to see if I can actually do my eyeliner kind of half decent with this because I'm not used to pens like this. But I'm going to go in and try this out. So... I'm just going to wing so it seems like a really good jet black formula it's not grey at all it's like a really nice rich black so that went on really nicely even over the 
um, glitter. For mascara today, I'm going to be going in with this one, which I got from Sephora as well. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, I have never used this mascara before. The only one that I have used, which is meant to be like very similar, is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is like my favourite mascara at the moment. Um, so this one has a very similar brush on it. It's very big and fluffy. These tend to be the mascara ones I've been liking recently. So let's give this mascara a go. So I'm just going to be applying a coat of this before my false lashes. Now instantly that's given me loads of volume and it's coated like every single lash. But from the look of it, it's not clumping my lashes together either, which is really nice. It's no better than my L'Oreal one and I'll obviously just keep buying my l'oreal lash paradise one just because it's a lot cheaper than this one it's a lot less expensive but this mascara is really really nice i think if you like volume and like dramatic lashes then you will really like this it's not it's giving me a bit of length but nothing too dramatic i think it is more of a like volumizing separating mascara but i think all round that is a really really good mascara i think i'm gonna do lips before i move and put my false lashes on and then i'll come back at the end so for lips i'm just gonna line my lips just with spice lip liner from mac just because i haven't got any new lip liners but this one's like one of my favorites and it kind of goes with the color i'm gonna be using so and then for lipstick today i'm gonna be using this one from estee lauder this is a pure color envy liquid matte in the shade 102 bronze leaf now this is a brand new liquid lipstick formula on the market i have not even opened this yet and i've never tried this formula out so i'm really excited to see how this applies and what the applicator's like i love estee lauder lipsticks i love the envy lipstick range so i'm intrigued to try these new liquid ones so it comes with like a classic doe for applicator it's got like a subtle kind of sweet smell really nice actually and i'm just going to apply this to my lips that color is so nice kind of like mac velvet teddy color really pigmented so that's what the liquid lipstick looks like and it's starting to dry down now that went on so nicely and it's a really nice kind of thin consistency which i love but it's so pigmented i personally am not a fan of those like moussey thick liquid lipsticks because i just find that they're a little bit too much um and they feel a little bit uncomfortable but this one with a really nice colour. I am going to try out today, just for the purpose of this impressions video, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer. Um, this is like the Universal Gloss from Fenty. So it comes with this massive, huge applicator and it's a really nice kind of bronzy gloss with like reflex of like silver and gold glitter running through it, but like really subtle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was one hell of a sneeze. <laughs> Everyone says I sneeze. You sneeze so really loud. loud. Sorry, that's my cousin sneezing. In case you wondered, I'm just applying this gloss now. This colour goes really nicely with this liquid lip. Okay, so I've just gone off camera and applied my false lashes and I've also applied some mascara to my lower lashes as well. Um, so that is this makeup tutorial complete. So I really like the way that this look turned out. I'm really impressed with pretty much all of the products that I tried. Um, some standout ones for me would probably be the Fenty Beauty foundation I absolutely love. Um, I loved the Huda Beauty palette and those Stila glitters were amazing. Um, again, the eyeliner went on really, really well. I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day and see if it stays in place um but yeah all in all all of the makeup that i used i was super impressed with and i really like the way that this makeup look turned out so if you guys enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial then please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already and make sure you hit the notification bell so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next friday at 8 p.m in my next video bye guys Mwah.